other, the things that we love God doing in our lives here. We need to share that with this community. And we need to share that with our hometown. And so there's been an attitude that this is our home and this is our family, but we need, we want other people to experience the same thing. We want them to have a home. We want them to feel the things that we feel and see God work in the ways that we work. We have been at this current location uh, for a long time. It's family land. A couple, three years ago, we decided it was time to plan for the future, so we bought a piece of property down on the main highway that's about a mile from here. Two years ago, last December, we voted on a Sunday night uh, unanimously to move to the new location. The new building is going to be a, an amazing uh, thing for our church, for our community, because it's going to let people see Rock Hill Baptist Church rather than have to hunt us, because right now, uh, you don't come here accidentally. The church has gone through a tremendous change since I've been here. Uh, I've been here when there was 80 people, and now I've been here when there's 700 people. Asian for a long time, this hometown, there's been an attitude that, hey, God's called to reload it, Katie, so that we can um, position ourselves to reach our hometown even in a greater way. Um, he's called us to these people. And we can do missions across the world. And we can do it nationally. We do those things. But God's called us to reach the people within our arms to reach first. The opportunities are endless that we have to put more churches um, and that we have to rejuvenate older churches. Get them to change their heart. Get them to change their attitude. Uh, this is us for no more. That's not what it's about. Whatever barriers and whatever traditions we have to tear down, uh, whatever hearts need to change, whatever God needs to do in the hearts of people in the churches across Texas, we have to change. I, I do want to encourage you to be a part of the Parker program and reach Texas because there are other churches and other communities that need your help, that are trying and just have not got that momentum yet or need the help and need the facilitation, need the training. Um, that's one thing we've benefited greatly is the encouragement we've got from uh, the other churches. We can do so much more together um, than we can do separately. We can each reach our hometown, but when it comes to really building the kingdom, we need each other. What is your part in the role that God's work in your life to make you like Jesus? What does God do? What's your part? That's going to be what we talk about tonight in Call Me. The other thing is simply this. Uh, as you think about being discipled, what are you bringing into your life to allow God to work there? We're talking about the basic discipleship issues in a course at 5 o'clock called Basic Discipleship Training. It's like biblical counseling, but it's like we're all under counseling from God from here. And that's over in the old sanctuary at 5. Uh, we have a grief and loss class that's in the adult one area at 5. Hosea, the ladies are studying together in the old fellowship hall at 5. And the men are still in Second Peter. Today we are starting on a study on Melchizedek, and uh, it's going to go on for several weeks, and it's we are meeting in the dining hall at 5 o'clock, so uh, if you are a man and want to be involved with that, please come to that class, but quite a few classes going on right now, it's good stuff. Well, anyway, um, I guess I need some direction about what to do now. I mean, we'll, we'll sing a song, but after that, where do we get We're going to eat after this. That's good news. All right, let's all stand as we sing Jesus Messiah, and then we should go eat. Jesus Messiah. 